Okay, as you can see, we've stripped off the outer skin of the yurt, exposing uh, what's left of the skeleton. Uh, take notice of the uh, steel poles and how bent they are. Those aren't actually bent; they're actually under. They're actually sprung there, like spring, big springs wedged into the ground. There's so much downforce from the wind that it actually flexed the poles down. The weight of the roof itself is only about 100 pounds per sheet. So we're talking, in order to bend that many poles, not that many feet of wood, left till intact and really not a lot left in the lettuce. You know the wind just shed in pieces in multiple places. Basically once the yurt starts to collapse it there's really not much that can stop it. You know the center structure looks fairly sound even though it did pull itself several feet like over a foot out of the ground. And that weighs probably about three four hundred pounds. And the door frames pretty much intact but the doors themselves are thrashed. This would be the end of an era. Hopefully there will be see some new beginnings coming sometime in the future. Let's wait and see if the insurance company is willing to help us out.